tricks hidden behind reggae one of the tricks hidden is knowing how to literally begin because it's it you begin after the kick you are not going alongside with the kick but kick then you start something like this okay so so it's like kick pa, then you okay so it's kick okay so it's kick then you you drop so okay so you you need to really time the beat that is one of the one of them the, the the secret hidden behind reggae so i know this side there is nothing more other than just playing you know just that way even if there is a minor chord like a six you just play it even if there is a minor chord like a two the the, the, the method is the same provided you know the, the right chord to, to 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 press on so that is basically um how we do the right hand side the right hand side doesn't have a lot of things what you need to invest on is the bass line because that is the music reggae is about the bass what you are going to do on the bass and many people have been asking me how do you construct um reggae bass lines or how do you play something good when you are playing reggae so on the left hand side for your bass you really need to be very creative and one of the ways that will give you the creativity use the chord that you are playing on the right hand side so if you, on the your right hand side for example you are playing your one i'm in the key of f sharp guys i'm in the key of f sharp so this is my one eh? so i can just play the same thing on my bass side the only difference will be that i will not be playing it as a block chord but i can arpeggiate it you see then when i go to my four again i just play back to one five my five so okay so i'm just playing the exact thing i'm playing on the right is what i'm playing on my left but now on my bass side I'm just arpeggiating, I'm breaking it down like I'm playing single notes. One, then four. One, five. And you can even choose to use inversion. So for your one, you can also do four, five. Okay, so you, you, you can play along with, alongside inversions and they will give you the, the best of it all. So on my one, what I can do just do is uh, I can just do it. I can press it twice, then I play the rest once. Okay, so so one, one, three, five. While I'm playing a one on this side. Okay, so I can play even any inversion on this side, depending with what I want. But on this side, I just I'm just having a one and a one. These are just inversions. I know we have talked about inversions. If you have not learned about inversions, check my previous lessons. F sharp and its inversions. I've already broken it down. So this is my one. Okay. So the same things, you know, for those ones who don't, doesn't in, understand inversions, if I'm holding this chord like this, see what I'm holding on the left hand side. It's this. And this is what I'm holding on my right hand side. If I take this note away, this one, and I maintain this, 
and then these ones that I took away, I bring it here. You see, it's just the same thing, just the same thing. So it's just a matter of I have just inverted. I can even choose to remove this one and take it further here. So it's just the same thing. They are just called inversions. I'm just inverting. So when I, while I'm on my one, I'm just playing a one here. Okay, then four, then one again, then five. The only thing, uh, the only thing I'm doing is that I'm playing the first note, which is the root twice. Okay. So the root twice. The root here again twice, which is which is my four, the B. Again. The five. That is exactly the entire thing that I'm doing over it. And that is how you start becoming creative with playing uh, reggae bass reggae, reggae bass lines. So how simple you can begin especially if you are a beginner then another thing you can just do in inversions eh, for the bass so the, 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 the same thing I was just doing you know I can decide to do it here on this inversion but I just begin with the root okay okay I just maintain these two remember we are playing this so I just maintain these two and come back so I begin with the root then this is my four so if i invert it i get this so i just begin with okay then again one then i can play a five a five here which is a okay or or i can even uh, omit the the root and play not starting with the root but playing from seven to five provided i'm within Just an inversion of my five. Okay, you can even choose. This is your five, and you have your five here. You can invert it and just play. Okay, this is your four. You can play or or or. something like that you, you just become creative just use the notes that you have don't even add an extra note after you have learned that you will learn more other things to, to follow so you see i can do then i do in i inversion okay then besides that i was just playing it here I can reverse now reverse what I've been playing here and now start from okay 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 I can just reverse what I've been playing so you see I'll just now play this note twice while I'm on my one then So you just play the same thing but reverse you see this one i was playing but now i just reverse and start from here then here instead of playing i play then then on my five instead of playing going forward i play it backwards okay so it's just some little creativity so I can play it now like this.
Airbus. simple as that you, you just begin being creative 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 i'm going to teach you more other methods but let's start with these ones for beginners and god wanna bless us may you have a very good day